Today we've got a nice geometry problem from the 2020 New Zealand Math Olympiad. So let's see what we've got here. So we want to let A, B, C, D be a square, and X is a point on line segment B, C between B and C. Next, we'll let Y be a point on the line CD such that BX equals YD and D is between C and Y. So if you're keeping track of that, that means that Y is on the ray containing C and D to the left of D by the picture that we're drawing. And then our final goal is to prove that the midpoint of line segment XY lies on BD, where that's a diagonal of our square. So put in terms of our picture that we have on the board now, our goal is to show that P is the midpoint of line segment XY. Notice that P is the intersection of XY with the diagonal BD. So in other words, what we'd like to show is that the length from X to P is the same thing as the length of the Y segment YP. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. We can do this in a, just a few steps. So let's first take a line through X that is parallel to CD. And by the parallel postulate, we know that this line is actually unique. So instead of saying take a line, we could just say take the line through X that's parallel to CD. And then we'll see that it most definitely intersects BD, and we'll call that intersection Q. So let's say call the intersection with line segment BD Q. Okay, so let's get the Q on the board right now. So that means we need to extend this out so that it's parallel to CD, like I said. And then also, like I said, we'll call this point right here Q. Okay, nice. But next, we can see that we have a 45 degree angle QBX, and that's because BD is the diagonal of a square, and so it bisects this 90 degree angle. So that means clearly we have this triangle BXQ is isosceles, but that means that BX is equal to XQ. So we have BX is equal to XQ, but let's recall that BX is also equal to YD by our assumption. So I can put a little mark here to just indicate all of these are congruent line segments. Okay, nice. Then next we're gonna do a little bit of angle chasing. So let's maybe start with this. We have PQX. So PQX is congruent to angle PDY. So let's put PDY here. And why is that? Well, that's because XQ is parallel to CD, and this line segment DQ is like cutting across those two parallel lines. So let's put that in our list here. So angle PQX is congruent to angle PDY, and like I said, that's because line XQ is parallel to line CD. Okay, nice. Now we're gonna do a little bit more angle chasing. So next up, we'll see that this angle right here, let's see that is QPX is congruent to this angle right here, which is DPY. And that's because they're kind of opposite each other in this point right here. So I'll say here, this is angle QPX is congruent to angle DPY. I won't put a reason here. I'll just say verbally, that's because these are opposite this intersection. But then, completing the triangle, we see that angle QXP is congruent to angle DYP. So that means we have a triangle here and a triangle here that have the same angle measurements. But if they have the same angle measurements, they are similar by the angle-angle-angle theorem. 
So let's write that down. So by, like I said, the angle, angle, angle theorem, we know that triangle PDY is similar to triangle PQX. So this triangle here with this triangle here. But that means we can make a statement about the size of ratios between two sides. So let's do that. So we have side length PY divided by side length YD must be equal to side length PX divided by side length QX. Again, because those are corresponding sides in these two triangles, which we have shown to be similar. But then way up here, we have that YD is equal to QX. So these denominators are the same, but since those denominators are the same, that means these numerators are the same. So in other words, the length of PY is the length of PX. But that's exactly what we needed to show. And recall our real goal here was to show that this intersection point was the midpoint of x, y. And that's exactly what we've done. So I've done some other geometry problems on the channel. So one's on the screen right now if you'd like to check it out. And that's a good place to stop. Mm -hmm.